Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 11 of Crash Bandicoot Warped, part of the Xbox. Or Insane Trilogy on the Xbox, but... Now that we have all the relics, we can go here. Which means we can get the two gems in Future Frenzy. And then we can also go do Rings of Power and the, um... Yeah, there's this, like, straight-up actual, like, collectibles and stuff right here. Wait, what? What is this? I have never seen double jump platforms like that in this game. That's crazy. Alrighty, let's destroy some nitro. Nitrous oxide style. No, not that game. Thank you very much. I love how, like, you can't actually hit that. Okay, just let me run, game. But Get out of here, little man. Man, we've already gotten 30... Whoa, this is weird. Having platforms here, like, in, like they were part of a th level. Okay, that's weird. Normally those are in, like, the side-scrolling sections, but not this time. You guys are kind of weird. I'm kind of dumb. Ah. Alright. Time that part better so we didn't have to wait as long. That's for sure. Now you know what I'm going to do. See that TNT right in the middle? Completely missed everything apparently. This thing has like infinite range. Oh, there's the gem right there. So there's like what, 46 boxes or so in here? Wow, is this supposed to be a challenge, man? I just wait patiently. And there's the gem. Nice. Now we have to go and beat the level. Wait a minute, do I actually have to backtrack? You gotta be kidding me. I actually have to physically backtrack? How is this gonna even work? I didn't even know you could backtrack, honestly. Luckily, I have more defensive tools than I used to when playing this game, so... Stop crawling along the ground, you weirdos. Yes, checkpoint. Oh, you can take the platform back. I never tried that as a kid. Kind of weird, but sure. Oh, I don't like this very much. Especially since I can't see stuff like that. That's a little dirty game. Oh, I don't like this either. What's going on over here? Burn all! Uh oh. One of these doofuses. Ah, Nitro. Oh, I seen that. Thank you. Alright, how much further do I have to go? I almost have all the boxes now. Actually, this looks pretty close to the beginning, right? Okay, this is the beginning. Okay, now we can actually just regular do the level. Okay. This is pretty intimidating, not gonna lie. You actually have to do so much to the level without a checkpoint. That's insane. And then you waste the checkpoint just to make sure you can at least not have to do the entire level over. Alrighty then. Let's go back up here. 
Hopefully the uh, the uh, bonus platform is close. Alright, let's do it! Let's do a slow crawl. I don't want to die to stupid hazards like that though, that would just be embarrassing. Alright. Beep beep, enemy. Checkpoint. Don't accidentally stand up too early. Ah, we're safe, finally. With almost all the boxes done. Alright. Ah, you guys actually timed yourself way too perfectly to even be a challenge. Actually, even the, like, the, 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 the difficult uh, second gen platform there, or pathway, wasn't too difficult. Oh, we gotta wait for these, though. The fact that we have 102 out of 133 by the time we get to this platform is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's the one teaching you double jump and death tornado spin combos, right? I forgot how early on this level was. Or you know what, if you have the bazooka, just don't risk death and do something like that. Ta-da! Boom. Problem solved. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Twelve more boxes to go. Mr. UFO Man's toast. Mr. Weird Spiky Ball Thing, dead. Checkpoint achieved. Crawling epically under fiery, uh, um, dumbbells? Sure. That's the word I was looking for, dumbbells. Who else wants to be dead meat? I do, I do. Oh no, don't tell me I missed one box. No. Oh, it's the nitro. I destroyed everything but one nitro throughout the level. That's funny. Alrighty. Nice. We have every basic relic and every basic gem in the game now. Now it's just the secret world left. Which, we can go here. Let's go. And that brings us to the level known as Rings of Power. Which is where we have to find an epic bear. Wait, this isn't how this level was in the original game. I don't remember this level being like this at all. Ah! Oh, I'm not getting that gem, that's for sure. Also... How am I supposed to get ahead of them? I don't even know. Kind of weird, but sure. And I completely failed. Why does it, like, swerve so hard to the left? There is no, like, um, boost button as a plane, though, so that's, that's like, the thing, you know? That's what makes this challenge really weird.
Like, especially due to the fact that, like I said, there's no... Oh yeah, well we made that one, so that's good. We almost have half the boxes already. I don't remember this level being like this. It also used to be like a snow level, I'm pretty sure. You know, like, it was weird in the past. Not like this. Oh, then we have to go way over here. Okay. Kind of odd. I love how I'm still fourth place, too. Like, how do you even beat this level, like, in first place? I haven't even come in first place at all. Or is it impossible to when you're doing the time trial? I don't know. No! Like, what is this level design? Also, I just realized... Oh yeah, well, let's see. Um... I don't know. Um... Let's see. I want to see this. Rings of power can't come in first. Uh, let's see. Crash. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I know what you're supposed to do. That spin thing it was telling you about, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do this through the rings. And completely failed. Anyways, I think this will do it for this series until I can do this off on my own time. So if you guys enjoyed the series, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.